All right, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about a snow event that's going to be affecting the states of Colorado, Wyoming, and a lot of those northern rocky states as well as down into portions of New Mexico, Texas, and Oklahoma possibly. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. <clears throat> now let's get right into things. We are looking at our current warnings, watches, and advisories. And you can see we actually have some winter storm watches there for Colorado, just to the south and to the west of Denver, and well south of Denver, almost bordering on, or actually, really, it is bordering on New Mexico. This is an area, it's not quite a winter storm warning, meaning that it's expecting less impacts than a winter storm warning, but it is more than an advisory. We have some advisories up to our north, but not in Colorado. So let's go over our simulated radar now. We're looking at our first frame, and for a while it does stay the same. This, actually, this right here is hour one, and you can see we do have snow showers throughout throughout the states of southern Montana, regions in Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado, as well as up there in North Dakota and Minnesota, but that's not our same system that we're talking about. We're going to move on one here to 18Z today, which is October 22nd, and you can see we actually have... A little bit of a widespread area of snow there up to the northwest regions of Wyoming and then also some heavier snow showers going on for Colorado and also central Idaho there. Let's move on one once again and you can see things look to be kind of calming down here. So we have snow showers throughout the states of Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, but not really a lot going on as far as widespread snowfall by this point. This is tonight later tonight and you can see by tomorrow this is probably really late tonight probably like 3 or 4 a.m actually maybe i'm thinking eastern time so western time it's probably a lot more like 1 or 2 a.m at this point then we move on to i would say 4 5 or 6 a.m here and you could see that we do have a little bit more widespread showers going on by this point on 12z october 23rd Wednesday, particularly for the states of Montana and the Dakotas. Let's move on one more frame to 18Z, and you can see it's becoming even more widespread by this point. This is around noon or just after noon time. We definitely have widespread snow up there from Montana and through portions of South Dakota and North Dakota, and some more snow showers popping up for Wyoming. But still, you're probably wondering, where's the Colorado snowstorm? Because, you know, Colorado hasn't gotten snow, really yet on this model run. Not so fast though, as we move on to tomorrow night, uh, you can see we do have snow becoming more widespread for Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado as well. Even areas to the east of Denver, which is, you know, low elevation in Colorado or lower elevation because it's all very high elevation, but it's not in the mountaintops of Colorado, which is interesting because usually this time of year we would expect mostly high elevation or higher elevation snowfall for the state of Colorado. Now as we move on later into the night here on Wednesday night or tomorrow night you can see that we do have widespread snowfall going on there for Colorado east and southeast of Denver and even to the west of Denver too so all around and in Denver we have tons and tons of moderate to heavy snowfall going on in a pretty widespread area. This is our main system of snowfall. You can see that we have lots and lots going on here. We still have snow showers for Wyoming, Montana, North Dakota, and South Dakota, but mostly our focus is on Colorado by this point. Also notice thunderstorms popping up for Oklahoma there, uh, possibly some more severe thunderstorms by this point. As we move on to 12Z, which is going to be... Probably, again, really early morning on Thursday, October 24th. We can see that that heavy to moderate to heavy snowfall has moved further south in Colorado, but still is widespread throughout the state, <clears throat> taking up the bottom east corner of the state. And it's even moving into the northeast corner of New Mexico, as well as the very western uh, regions of Oklahoma and the very northwestern regions of Texas. Very, very interesting stuff going on here. As we move on to 18Z, Thursday, October 24th, which is going to be more like afternoon time, 
Because he's mostly talking about New Mexico, Texas, and Oklahoma by this point. There is some moderate snow going on. And again, thunderstorms widespread throughout Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Missouri. So it's going to be interesting to track that as well with this system as we're going to have, you know, thunderstorms and severe thunderstorms potentially popping up with, within the system. And by late Thursday night, you could see all the snow has dissipated to maybe flurries in the states of Colorado and New Mexico. But really the big story by this point is thunderstorms throughout Texas, Oklahoma, heavy thunderstorms at that, and again, Arkansas and Missouri as well. Now for this one, let's take a look at our total snowfall. In your first shades of blue that turn into kind of a grayish color, that's where we're expecting 0.1 to 3 inches of snow. And in your kind of purplish colors, we're looking at 3 to 6 inches of snow. In the more pink colors and magenta colors, we're looking at 6 to 12 inches of snow. And in the green, which you can't really see on the screen, but I will mention, that's where we have 12 to 24 inches of snow. So you can see we have a widespread area of pink and purple throughout the state of Colorado and portions of New Mexico as well, I think Denver on this, you're probably looking at four to six inches of snow. I'm, I'm not very familiar with where it is looking purely based on a county and state map, uh, but I'm pretty sure you guys are in uh, kind of like the moderate areas of the snowfall in Denver. I know I keep mentioning Denver, but I just know that as, you know, a really big city in Colorado. Now, I did briefly want to talk about our cooldown for the east and how the GFS has been shifting all over the place. I wanted to talk a little bit about our temperature pattern here just to mention this in the video because I was kind of torn about which of these videos I was going to make so I thought I'd probably combine the two that seemed like the best option at this point uh, to kind of make like a double whammy in this video. So we're looking at right now our temperature anomalies for 0Z Saturday, October 26th, so really the night of October 25th. And you can see by this point, we have warm temperatures entering the western United States and cold temperatures for the central United States really uh, chilly comparatively to normal for Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Missouri, but still warm along the East Coast here. Let's move on one frame to 12Z Sunday, October 27th, and you can see there's a lot of cold pouring into the Northwestern United States and Central United States, still warm for the Eastern United States. But... By 0Z Tuesday, October 29th, you could see a lot more widespread cold entering the, the central United States and heading further and further east. Those pinks are indicating very, very far below average temperatures up there for Montana, the Dakotas, Wyoming, Colorado, Nebraska, all of those regions that are pink and purple. That's looking at extremely far below average temperatures comparatively to normal. And again, still really warm along the east coast. But by 18Z Wednesday, October 30th, the day before Halloween, well, the cold enters the Gulf states, the East Coast states, and it's still very, very cold in the North Central United States and Great Lakes regions. But really interesting to see the East Coast finally seeing that big cooldown. They've been showing this consistently. It's just the strength and intensity hasn't been quite consistent We've been seeing them flip-flop in the teleconnections. They're not quite sure what they want to do, uh, but we're seeing a little bit more consistency with this pattern that they think is going to set in with very, very powerful cold air moving in to the at least the north-central United States and Great Lakes and potentially even the east coast and Gulf states of the United States, and this would really lead to more widespread cold again for the more eastern regions of the United States. Really been not seeing it for quite a long time now. We've been missing that cold air. A lot of us have at least. Uh, and there's been days now recently where it started to cool down and the warm-up has really gone away for the most part. But it would be nice to, or it would be interesting to see a big trough enter the eastern United States. You can see here by November 1st, it's still there. It's just starting to weaken a bit by this point. So it's going to be pretty consistent through uh, a few days and then it's kind of up in the air what it's going to do after that point but for the most part the GFS starts the month of November cold for the eastern United States and warm for the western United States which is really interesting switch up and different than what we've been seeing recently for the most part but you can see by November 1st uh, really the southwest and northwest 
and South Central United States are warm. And then the North Central, Great Lakes, Northeast, and Southeast are cold, but not quite as cold as they were the day before. So you can clearly see things are weakening and it's pushing back north. And eventually the warm will probably re-enter the Eastern United States. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I'm sorry I'm uploading a little bit late. I got to a slow start today. Share this with your friends, family, and everybody on your Facebooks that you think could find this video useful or helpful or informative. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.